verse 18 says that there is no fear in love. Dread does not exist, but full grown, complete, perfect love turns fear out of the doors and expels every trace of terror. Hmm? For fear brings with it that thing, the thought of punishment. Fear brings with it the thought of what? Punishment. And so he who is afraid has not reached the full maturity of love. Is not yet grown into love's perfection. Into love's perfection. Where there is love, there is no fear. If you, if, you, if you fear your job, you don't yet love your job. If you fear someone, if you have dread for someone, it means that you don't love that person. Or that person doesn't have love for you, or they've not expressed their love towards you. So where there is fear, it means there is no love there. The more we love God, the more we get to understand God, the less we become dreadful of him. In fact, in verse 19, it says that we love him because he first loved us. The only way you can love God is by you knowing how much he loves you. That is how you end up loving him the way you're supposed to love him. So, where there is love, there is no fear. Yeah, where there is love, there is no fear. Anyone who, if you listen to any sermon and it creates a sense of fear in you, then there was no love in that sermon. Huh? Yeah, I'm shaking tables, I know. So, if you're listening to anything, even here online, and it creates fear in you, then you have to question where the source of that thing is coming from. What's the source? Where is the source coming from? Jesus said many things to the people that he talked to in, in his time. But it always drew people closer and closer to him. Even the prostitutes and the tax collectors felt loved. They felt accepted in spite of the things that they were doing. And it is that goodness, that love that led them to repentance. It is the love of God that will lead you to repentance. Not, not you trying to make yourself right or trying to correct everything in your life. It is not the thing that will draw you closer to God. It is not the thing that will take away the thing that you're struggling with. But your realization of how much God loves you. The fact that while you are yet a sinner, God died for you. Jesus died for you. That, that realization is what will make you turn away from the other things. It is not the realization of the fact that God is going to punish you and what, what. That's not the thing that dread is not what, what makes you change your ways or what makes you turn away from your sin. No, it is the realization of how much God loves you. And I'm here to just tell you that God loves you. Mukama Akwagala. Akwagala. He loves you and that's enough. He loves you and that's enough. That's it. He loves you. And there's nothing to do about it. Okay, God bless you. In case you haven't yet listened to my song, Chimala, please go to my channel somewhere and look for it. It talks about God's love. It just talks about all the good things that, that God has done for you. And it's enough. It's just enough. Just know that is enough. Just just receive that realization of the fact that it is enough. It is enough. And when you receive that realization, <laughs> everything will fall in place. Everything is going to fall in place. The things you're struggling with, all those ones, they're all going to fall in place. They will. The things that you're trying to get rid of, they will fall away the moment you realize how much God loves you and how much he He's not, he's, 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 not, he's not looking for anything from you. He's not searching for anything from you. All he wants you to realize is how much he loves you. I hope you have been blessed. If you have been blessed, please leave a comment. And uh, I'll try and do these lives every now and again, every time I get something. Yeah, God bless you. Have a good day.